All right, guys, loading up some speed loaders. Gonna be doing some shooting here before it gets dark out. And uh, I gotta tell y'all, you know, my long hair, it just, it just looked too good. And there's something to be said for that, you know. Taking all the attention off my wife and put it on me when you look that good, so I had to get it cut. Uh, so here we are, it's getting a little bit warmer out. Told that barber make me look like a Marine again. And uh, feels good, looks good. Yeah, it won't take me long to grow it back if I want to. A couple months maybe. So, what I got out here today is uh, L-frame versus K-frame. And the L-frame <clears throat> that I have on the table <clears throat> is the 586 six shot L frame and then the model 66 and we're going to shoot both from concealment and both have different speed loaders I can run a Safari Land Comp 2 with the 586 and I run a HKS with the model 66 and uh you know <clears throat> I'm a fan of both frame sizes the L frame has always been my go-to and we're shooting magnums here today we're shooting a herder select grade 158 grain found these for a great deal at a pawn shop. Let me tell you, sometimes you can find really good deals on ammunition in places you wouldn't expect to find it. Um, so pawn shop, man, I got a box of 50 rounds for like $14.90, you know, $14.90, something like that. Pretty good deal. All right, so we're gonna run drill here. Combat distances, L-frame with wood grips and K-frame. The Combat Magnum. And let me tell you something. This gun has been my go-to lately just because it is so easy to conceal compared to, compared to an L-frame. And I really like that. All right, let's see how we do. All right, here we go. L-frame versus K-frame. L-frame, 586, blued with wood grips, beautiful gun. Hefty, full underlug, K-frame, combat magnum, model 66, stainless steel, rubber grips. Opposites, yeah, in a way, this is lighter and sleeker. This is heavier, bulkier, and beefed up. We're going to run magnums in both of them from a sticky holster and see which one performs better. All right, so here we are about seven yards away. Okay, we're running on a Marine Corps pistol qual target. And uh, if we're going to compare two weapons, and we only have, let's say, 12 or 18 rounds to, to fire. My favorite drill, build drill, from concealment. Okay, we're running this L-frame. Wood grips, all right? And as you can see, you know, you got to be wary of the printing with a, with a square butt gun like this. But one size extra shirt, placement of the weapon deeper in, in the waistband, those kind of things help mitigate your, uh, your printing issues. You can still do it, and I've done it before. I've concealed carried l-frame four inch guns with square butt all right so let's start with that build drill set uh seven yards five shots from the draw as quickly as we can fire all right as if this person is running at us this is probably the best drill to do on the range see where your skills are at five shots these are magnum rounds stop all right Take a look, Smith & Wesson 586. Have not fired this in a while. It's, it's more of a house gun for me now just because in the climate I live in, you know, it's humid all the time. Stainless steel, you don't have to care for it quite as much when it comes to, uh, to rusting, it really isn't. So here's five shots, one, two, three, four, five. All right, five rounds, they're all what I would call vital hits i mean with a magnum round those are going to be there's going to be fight stoppers is the group spread out yeah but what i teach in my classes is that you know you're, you're not looking for bullseye group sizes in combat shooting you want to spread the trauma out all right so that's the number one thing right there number one drill build drill five shots at seven yards now we've got one round and a speed loader in our pocket so let's uh do a headshot on demand from 15 yards and I'll back this camera up a little bit. 
headshot on demand 15 yards speed reload okay and then we'll do a hammer pair moving forward all right here we go this is about maybe 10 yards actually 10 yard headshot double action stop all right here we go hks quick Two follow-up shots there. All right. All right. Well, double action. Uh, I don't know where my head shot went, but my hammer pairs were good. So I've only dropped one shot so far with the 586. Now we only got four rounds left. What's another skill we should practice if we've got low round count? How about one-handed shooting? So one-handed shooting, right and left-handed. Hammer pair, center mass. Let's see how we do. Right hand first. Stop. All right, there it is. Okay, last two rounds, left hand only. Here we go. Okay, go on to reload. Stick it in your belt. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, and then execute that reload. All right, I'm gonna take a look at my target here in a second. You can see how fast that speed reload was with the H, excuse me, the, the Safari Land Comp 2. Man, that's super fast. I love it. And if I could run that in all my guns, I would. They just don't make a seven shot for the 686 plus. So combat handgun. This is the Distinguished Combat Magnum 586. Beautiful gun. Blued. Wood grips. I had a viewer recently ask me, hey, what do I think about it? Have I had problems with it? Uh... Yeah, I had a cracked forcing cone once, which really pissed me off. I don't know how that happened. I think it was a, a um, I used some Monarch ammunition from Academy, which is super, super hot. Um, but still, that shouldn't be a reason why a forcing cone would crack. Uh, so I had to send this back to Smith, and they fixed it promptly. And uh, I can still trust my life to this gun. I love it. It's probably the best out-of-the-box trigger I've got of all my guns single action and double let's take a look at our target okay so that was 12 rounds all together all right i missed that headshot but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in the hand so number 11 dropped somewhere low probably might have been my left-handed shooting all right, so 10 rounds. Let's see if we can do any better with the K-frame. Okay, much more concealable, lighter weight, sleeker frame, especially with the factory rubber grips. Half underlug, shrouded bear, uh, half, half shrouded underlug, excuse me. Um, this is the Model 66 Combat Magnum. And man, does this feel good in the hand. And after carrying L-frames, for most of my time uh, as a concealed carry uh, gunfighter is so to speak uh, civilian uh, being able to choose what I carry instead of being in the military K-frame is so much easier to pack it's a very concealable gun same capacity uh, but the trade-offs are you feel those magnums a lot more so the K-frame was built for the 38 special not necessarily for the 357 <clears throat> but the uh, model 19 the Model 66 um, allow you that option as a combat magnum. So let's see if we score any better with this. It points better, it's lighter, it packs easier, uh, but the trade-offs are it's not as easy to handle magnum rounds through uh, as a L-frame. So let's see how we do with this. We'll start that build drill, seven yards, five shots, three seconds from the draw. Okay, here we go. Okay, five rounds. You know, I fired those four pretty quick. And then on that last round, it kind <clears> of, <throat> the, the, the transition from the reset hung up on me a little bit. So I don't know if I made par, but my group is a lot better than that L-frame. One, two, three, four, and five. All right there. Okay, cool. Let's back up to 15, try that headshot speed reload. Set this up on my tactical camera pod usually I do headshots on demand single action 
but to keep it fair, I'll do this double action like I did for the L frame. Okay, I'm trying to keep this from being cockeyed all the way. All right, guys, this is about 10 yards, I should say. 10 yard headshot, speed reload with an HKS. Stop. All right, followed up with a hammer pair. Okay, I think I got it. All right, so what I tell folks is that uh, that Safari Land man is so much faster than an HKS. But right there, if you practice with this enough, man, it get, it, it gets smooth after a while. Let's take a look at that target. See how we did here. So with the headshot, nailed it. Headshot right down the middle, and then five plus two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Okay, so I'm batting a thousand right now with the K-frame. Let's go ahead and finish up right hand and left hand only from the draw. Start with right hand only, hammer pair, which is one sight picture, two shots, as quickly as you can fire them. This is 357, 158 grain. Here we go. Stop. Okay, now left hand. This is where it's always a little more challenging. Don't practice this a whole lot. Okay. This is that K-frame. Model 66. This is a 66-8. All right. Um, folks that have the older Model 19s and 66, man, they're great guns. And they're probably better than the modern ones. Uh, but uh, I think you can abuse these a little bit more um, than maybe the one that, you, you know, is a dash one, dash two, dash four. You know, those are more collectible nowadays, although they're great combat handguns. Uh, but a lot of people are too scared to, to go out and train with them and use them. And that's why I like these modern Smiths, um, because, you know, they're completely covered under factory warranty. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I can just, you know, run rounds after round, thousands of rounds through them uh, just to get, <clears throat> get trained up and proficient with this gun. I think a good load, a good carry load for this weapon because it is lighter is 110 grain Winchester jacketed hollow point, a Remington 38 Special Plus P, uh, 125 grain, a Federal 158 grain semi wide cutter hollow point, or a 125 grain classic Federal hollow point. Let's see how we did. This just packs a lot easier. And I'll tell you, I, I love my L frames, but. This is my go-to nowadays. All right, so there should be 12 rounds on this target all together. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Looks like I dropped one. I dropped one. I felt, I felt like I got all of them on, but it's probably that left-handed shooting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay, well, there it is. This is the winner for today. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm still an L-frame guy. My, my absolute go-to is the 686 Plus, and uh, that's always going to be my, my favorite because you get that extra round, heftier barrel. Um, but for concealed carry today, the K-frame wins. L-frame, still awesome and maybe better in a lot of ways, but this one, very good gun. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you a little later.